Hey, would you like to have green ficus all year long without any white fly infestations? We're gonna show you how in this video with just one treatment a year. This is Frank with Nature Pest, stay tuned. Are you looking for a long-term control solution? I got a great product for you. It's called Dominion 2L by Control Solutions. Dominion 2L is a new class of insecticide known as a neonicotinoid. Its imidacorporate is the active ingredient and it is a professional concentrated strength. So you do need to read the label, you do need to follow label instructions on how to apply it, but it provides long-term pest control with as little as one treatment per year for palms, trees, and shrubs. And we're gonna show you now how to use this product. Identifying ficus whitefly is really easy on, on ficus. If you look here and you look around this leaf, you're gonna find all these little ovals, these little white translucent ovals. And those are the molting cases from the whitefly that molted out of there and into an adult. And so you can see those little cases are broken um, and you can identify that you have ficus whitefly. You're not gonna see the eggs because you're gonna to have to look under a microscope to see the eggs, but you can see the fly and you can definitely see the molt casings that are, have hatched and therefore you know that you have white fly. If you look over here, this is a very interesting little thing sticking out right there off that leaf. I'm gonna try to get that. See that little white thing sticking out? That is actually a beneficial insect. It's a parasitic wasp. And if you keep that on there, it will grow and it will attack the white fly. But it is an environmentally good species to have. So this is why we don't like spraying because you will kill all these beneficial insects that attack the white fly. And over here you also have a thrip, the, that a leaf that's been closed up by thrip. And if we open it, you can see all the thrip eggs inside. And, and those little black ones right there, there are your thrips right there. And uh, this will also control thrips. It will control any chewing, sucking, piercing insect that attacks the plant. And I think it's a great, great product to use. And it will give you superior plant aesthetics for uh, you'll, you won't have any defoliation, any leaf closing or any damage for up to 12 months. All right, to do a root drench treatment, you're gonna need a couple of basic equipment. You're gonna need a, a bucket or pail, a good decent measuring cup, about 32 ounces, a small little measuring cup that can measure in cc's, ml's, half ounce, quarter ounces, very small measurements. And if you need to do very small measurements, you can even use a syringe like this that goes all the way up to like 12 cc's or 12 ml. And that should be all you need, plus a measuring tape to get your measurements of how, how big that tree is, how wide it is, or maybe what the diameter is of the trunk, depending on how you're gonna measure it. Now for this demonstration, what we're gonna do is we're gonna measure it as a shrub because the trunk diameters are very small. It has three different trunk diameters, but this will qualify as, as a shrub and we're going to head and measure it as a shrub. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stand here and I'm going to measure the height of this. And that's going to let me know. Whoops. Roughly how big that tree is. So that tree is about eight feet uh, from top to bottom. It's about eight feet tall. Uh, I do shrubs that are as high as 14 uh, feet tall with ficus. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to measure this out based on the chemical amount, based on the height of that shrub, which is eight. Now the manufacturer recommends a dosage between three ml and six ml, or three milliliters to six milliliters per foot height of shrub. For this type of, of tree, the low rate works great at three ml. So you can go to the low rate. So you're gonna multiply, all you're gonna do is multiply three times eight, which is 24. So you're gonna need 24 ml or 24 cc per height of shrub to get this done. All right, so we're gonna measure that out now. As you can see down here, I'm gonna squat down. And for this demonstration, we our, our little cup will actually measure up to 25. So if you go a little bit over, it's okay, because remember, you've got between three and six to play with to make it legal for the label. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our little measuring cup and we're going to pour this out. We're going to put it out on a surface that we can actually measure it.
And as you can see, since this is a professional grade product, you don't need a lot to make this work. And we got there to about 26, so we're good. And we're gonna measure that out. And what you're gonna need, are you gonna need your basic protective equipment, gloves, you gotta wear a long sleeve shirt with this label. You gotta wear long pants, you gotta wear shoes, and you have to wear protective lenses, which I can use mine. And that's all you really need is to apply this product. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a root drench. We're gonna take this over here and we're gonna do a basal drench. Now, a basal drench is the base of the shrub. You don't need to go out to the feeder root. It will do it well with just the basal um, roots and you can just go ahead and drench. Now my rule of thumb is anywhere between four ounces, uh, I'm sorry, eight ounces to 16 ounces of water per height of shrub or per uh, inch of diameter. Since we went with height, you know, about a gallon is good enough per shrub and we can just pour the rest over that base and that's really all you need to do to control this for one whole year on what on ficus white fly even on the thrip and that's it okay if you're asking yourself how can this be an eco solution when we're using a professional strength pesticide well here's a couple of facts of why this is a better use of a product than your traditional services if you had to spray this shrub you would have to spray it between 12 to 6 times a year in order to try to get control of the pesticide. Meantime, you're, you're, you're killing pollinators, you're killing beneficial insects, you're contaminating the property 6 to 12 times a year with a, a spray pesticide which you have air drift. So with this product what you're doing is you're only applying it once a year and you're only contaminating the site where you applied it. As far as leaching into the soil and contaminating groundwater, imidacorpra has been proven that it does not leach into groundwater because it does, it does degrade with the pH of the soil, the nematodes, and just the natural, just the time it spends in the soil, it will degrade. So it will not leach into groundwater. So it is in an IPM program, an integ integrated pest management program, this is a better solution than having your shrubs sprayed. There is no 100% natural control that protects every environment and protects every species, but this is one of the best solutions and this is why we use it.